Dear Miss Perot, I have a problem which I'd like you to solve for me as soon as possible. I am a very busy single parent, with a full-time job in water resources management, a part-time job as a website designer, and six children under the age of five. I also play the guitar in a rock band and volunteer twice a week at a center for homeless koalas. I have recently started a master's course in environmental policy and management, and my life is becoming very busy. Can you advise me which of my other activities I should cut back on? Perhaps I could give up doing some of the housework? I look forward to a speedy reply. Yours, Bertie. The next one is from Helpful Hattie. Dear Miss Perot, is there anything I can do for you? Would you like me to help you with a problem? If it's not too much trouble, would you mind if I mention a little dilemma of my own? It's nothing serious, but perhaps you can give me some advice when you have time. I have dozens of friends, and they are always asking me to do things for them. I'm doing a course in economics, and all my friends want to use my notes. And sometimes copy my essays. I don't want to offend them by saying no. I also do the shopping for three elderly neighbors, and two friends have given me their dogs to look after while they're on a world tour. The dogs require a lot of walks and food. I am also watering plants for three friends who have gone to Queensland to study. And this means I need to go to their houses twice a week so that the plants don't die. Many of my friends can't cook, and so they come to my house for meals every night. I love to prepare food for them, but it's getting a bit expensive, and it takes me a long time to do the washing up when they've gone. I'm very happy to be of use, but it's getting a bit hard to study. Please, can you give me some suggestions if it's not too much trouble? And is there anything I could do for you? Yours, helpfully, Hattie. P.S. I'm enclosing a stamped address envelope for your reply. Dear me, what thoughtless friends! And this is one of them. Hi there, Miss Perot. I had a question to ask you, but I've forgotten what it was. Oh yes. Now I remember. I have these like studies, right? And it's really a bit much. I mean, I have to go to lectures and all that stuff, and it seriously interferes with my social life. I need a lot of rest, and this studying is taking too much time. I think it might be easier to buy a degree off the internet. After all, I'm worth as much as the next person. So why should I have to work to get a degree? What do you think? Cheers, Laura. Well, that one's easy. She absolutely must not buy a degree online. Now, what about Party Patty? Dear Miss Perrot, I have a problem. I love going to parties and socialising, but my party time is being cut short by the studies I have to do. I want to be a full-time professional party goer, but my parents want me to be a lawyer. How can I find time to do both? Yours swingingly, Patty. Well, at least she knows what she wants. The next one is much more confused. Dear Miss Perot, I don't know where to begin. I've just started a Masters of International Trade and Development. And I don't really understand what my course is all about. All the vocabulary is new to me, and I don't know where to start. I think I might give up. It's all too difficult. I'm so confused. It's overwhelming. The lecturers seem to expect so much 
at least I think they do, I haven't dared to actually ask them. I don't like computers, so I haven't looked at any of that stuff online. What can I do? Yours confusedly, Paul. Poor Paul. Perhaps the next person will be able to help him. Dear Miss Perro, I have a problem. I never seem to get anything finished. I am always very careful and have very high standards. I can start a project but I never stop reading. And the drafts I write are never good enough to submit. At school, I only achieved 100% in three of my five courses. I only got 98% for the other two. I am scared to submit my work or put anything in the online blogs in case people are critical. Please can you help me? Yours, worriedly, Petro. By the way, please don't tell my mom I wrote to you. She thinks it is silly to ask for help. Poor Pedro. And here's the last one. Dear Miss Perot, I'm so tired. I come from the south of Japan. My problem is that now I live in the north of Japan and in summer it gets light at half past three in the morning. I find it very hard to adjust as I can't sleep so well when it's light. What can I do? Yours yawningly, Tina. I think I have a lot of those people's problems too. What would you advise them to do? Here's one possibility. Bertie can ask Hattie to do his housework, organising Laura to help and Pedro to make sure she does it properly. Patty could take Paul to a party with Tina to wake them up a bit. Or well, what about this solution? Each person needs to be responsible. Bertie could give up the koala work and form a rock band with his own children. Hattie needs to learn to say no. Patty could study event management instead of law. Paul needs to ask for help. Perhaps Pedro could help him. It would be good for Pedro to make some friends. Maybe he could inspire Laura too. And Tina could buy an eye shade or put a blanket over the window to help her sleep better. Of course, those are just a few solutions. What would you recommend? Mm -hmm.